Hi hey everyone. In this lesson, I will talk about treating infantile hemangiomas with propranolol. Propranolol has been applied in the treatment of infantile hemangioma for more than 10 years. Now, I will talk about how does propranolol help in hemangioma, dosage, duration, possible side effect, and the expected outcome after treatment. Hemangioma is a collection of small immature blood vessels. It can be superficial or deep in the skin, and the mangiomas are not usually obvious at birth, but become apparent within a few days or weeks. They grow rapidly in the first three months, increasing in size and sometimes in redness, and it is unusual for a mangioma to grow after 10 months of age. At this time, most mangiomas tend to have a rest period, and then they begin to shrink. So the natural forces rapid growth during the first three months. Then they start to stabilize or resting period at the age of 10 months. Then after one to two years, they begin to shrink. Propranolol is a beta blocker as you know. Some nerves release a chemical called noradrenaline when they are stimulated, which in turn stimulate beta adrenergic receptors. This can cause a variety of effects, including if the beta adrenergic receptors in the heart are stimulated, for instance, the heart pumps harder and faster than before, so more blood is pumped around the body. Beta blocker medications block the beta adrenergic receptors and they stop them being stimulated. When we see how propranolol helps with the mangioma, by blocking the beta adrenergic receptors, propranolol can make blood vessels narrower then reducing the amount of blood flowing through them. This is particularly effective in hemangiomas by reducing the color and making them softer. Even growth of the mangioma cells is also limited by propranolol, so that the hemangioma start to reduce in size. More research is needed to fully understand how propranolol works because the beneficial effects are usually seen very quickly, very rapidly. Most of the time, we change we see some changes within the first 24 to 48 hours after starting propranolol, which can't be explained by the above mechanism. So more research is needed to fully understand how it works. As I have said, propranolol is a beta blocker, so it's associated with the following side effects, which happen very rarely. Those include bradycardia, hypotension, bronchospasm, peripheral vasoconstriction, weakness and fatigue, sleep disturbance, hypoglycemia, and GI disturbance such as constipation and diarrhea. Regarding dosage, the recommended usage of propranolol for infantile mangioma should start from 0.7 per kg per day. Then we increase to 1 mg per kg per day. Then after 3 days, 2 mg per kg per day. Then as end, we'll increase to 2.5 mg per kg per day. So, it is usually given three times a day, eight hours apart. We should have to increase the dose every three days. First day, we start with 0 0.7 per kg per day in three divided doses. Then after three days, one milligram per kg per day. Then after three days, again, two milligram per kg per day. And again, after three days, 2.5 milligram per kg per day. So we should have to increase progressively. The first medication should be performed in hospital to monitor the infant's general status after intervention for two hours. The child should be given at least 60 ml of milk with evening dose because of the risk of having nighttime or midnight hypoglycemia due to the drug. The child should not have salbutamol, either by inhaler or nebulizer, while taking propranolol as the two medicines have opposing effects. Regarding the duration of treatment, treatment to 40 to 18 months maximum of six months with propranolol is usually sufficient to reduce the mangioma so that it does not cause any treble some side effects. The dose of propranolol should be reduced gradually rather than stop it suddenly. Most mangioma will have disappeared completely by the age of five to seven years. Large mangiomas may continue to get smaller until the child is about 10 years old. This is all about treatment of a mangioma with propranolol. Thank you for watching.